Hi, I am Vijay Lakshmi. Today, I am going to do Kurma, South Indian Kurma. There is a famous hotel in South India named Dasa Pragasa. If you go to Dasa Pragasa, the Prata Kurma is famous. So, today I am going to do the same Kurma at home. Before proceeding with this recipe, subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment. And if you want to see more recipes, check out my blog. So let's see the ingredients. For this preparation, we need one big size onion chopped, two big size tomatoes chopped, one potato chopped, one cup carrot chopped, cauliflower chopped 1 cup, beans, french beans chopped, green peas, I have taken frozen green peas, garam masala, red chili powder, dhania powder, turmeric. To grind, we need 1 big size onion, I have taken 8 to 9 parts of garlic, ginger, and 4 green chilies, grated coconut, somf that is funnel seeds, 2 cardamom, half star anise, 2 cloves, handful of cashews. For tempering, 1 teaspoon jeera that is cumin seeds, half a teaspoon mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon fennel seeds, and curry leaves. For this kurma, definitely you need this curry leaf. Water, oil and salt. So, let's start. Now I am going to add potato, cauliflower, peas, carrot, french beans. I am going to add 1 cup of water. Close it with a lid and keep it for 5 minutes. One whistle is enough for this vegetables. In another pan, I am going to add 3 teaspoon of oil. Add the dry ingredients one by one. So first, let me add this fennel seeds, cardamom, clove, star anise, don't add too much of spices in any recipe. It will overpower the recipe. So add mild whole spices. The soap is crackling. Now I am going to add cashew. Saute it for 1 minute. Nice aroma is coming from the soap. Now I am going to add onion. Keep it in low flame. So saute it well. Then add ginger, garlic and green chilies. It will go with pulka, roti, tandoori naan or even with plain rice. But if you make that Kerala paratha, this is the best accompaniment. So, saute it. See the kaju is in golden brown. Now I am going to add coconut. So saute it well. I said I have taken two tomatoes. Now I am going to add half cup of tomato and remaining half cup I will use it in tadka. I am roasting this onion, so 
tomato, garlic, ginger, green chilies and all masala for the past 8 minutes. In this recipe I didn't add cinnamon. I don't prefer cinnamon in kurma. So now I am going to transfer this to a blender. This is the perfect stage. In the pan, I am going to add 3 tablespoon of oil. I kept for one whistle. The vegetables have been cooked very well. So, in another pan, I have heated up oil. Now, I am going to add the mustard seeds, fennel seeds and cumin seeds. The seeds should crackle well. The main ingredient for kurma is curry leaves. I am going to add curry leaves. Then chop ramen. When I add this curry leaves, immediately you will get nice flavor because this fennel seeds and curry leaves will go together will give you wonderful aroma of the recipe. For this preparation, I am going to add quarter teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of dhania, that is coriander powder. So, for this preparation, I am going to add three fourth teaspoon of salt. Just saute the onion for two minutes. In this case, I am going to add tomatoes. This is six pixel chutney nut kurma. The chutney nut Cuisine is very very famous in South India. I have added 4 chilies. So now I am going to add quarter teaspoon of red chilli powder. Saute it well. If you want red color kurma, you can use Kashmiri chilli powder. But I like that mild yellowish color. The typical chadinata kurma is in light yellow color. So I prefer this. And this is the time to add the ground paste. The paste should be like this. The sauteing part is very very important for this chicken or Keep stirring. Keep stirring. And in this case I am going to add quarter teaspoon of garam masala. Already we have added whole spices so don't add too much of garam masala. See this much is enough for this preparation. It's very simple. If you follow the same recipe, it's very very simple. In this stage, I am going to add the boiled vegetables. So look at the color. This is what I want. I want this light yellow color in my kurma. This is a wonderful accompaniment for the frozen prata. Just buy the Malabar prata in any grocery store and do this kurma. And if you want to add water, you can add down. I am going to add half a cup of water. Mix it well. Look at the color. Nice. Keep it in low flame and cover it with a lid. It has been 10 minutes. Let me check. Yeah. It has nicely cooked. This is the correct consistency for Chetina Kurma. Now I am going to transfer it to your serving bowl. Switch off the flame. Be careful while transferring the kurma. It's heavy. Chetina kurma is ready. Make this recipe and enjoy with your family and friends.
If you like this recipe, please subscribe my channel, share and like. And I want your valuable comments. If you want more recipes, check out my blog. This is the time to say bye bye.